face. And that's what a 1.5 thruster weight looks like off the pad. So I'm gonna go through my typical launch profile here. I'm just going straight up till we get to 50 meters per second. I'm then gonna start to lean over. In fact, somebody told me to turn these off, right? So let's go ahead and turn those off since they were helping so much. And I'm gonna lean this rocket over. And you can see the majority of control authority here is actually now 100% of the control authority is coming from the fact that this engine can gimbal. Do you see that engine leaning? Do you see how it's changing the point, the way that it's appearing to be pointing, the way that it's appearing to be pointing what? It's changing the way that it's pointing. That is an engine gimbal. And the gimbal is something that allows the engine to kind of change the direction it's pointing. We can control the rocket by changing exactly where that gimbal is pointing. So if I were to come over here and, and pause the game right quick, I wish that I could pause it and then move that window. There's not really a good way for me to pause it, I guess. That's good. You can see that thing completely like pointing in different directions, right? So if I go like this and I use my drawing tool, if I come over here, when the engine is pointed straight, like this, right? The engine is pointing in this direction and the mass of the rocket is up here, okay? We're actually putting this force and the force is acting directly on the rocket. The engine's throwing exhaust out that way. That means that it's exerting a force directly this way. And when we exert that force directly on the mass of the rocket, we fly straight. What if we want to turn? If we want to turn, we use the engine gimbal. If instead of pointing that engine straight, we point it out to the side a little bit like this, and we have that force go this way, that means that the force that the engine is applying is here, and all of a sudden, we have a lever arm between there and the front of the rocket. So when I do this, if I exert a force over there and the mass is over here, it's gonna rotate. This rocket's gonna want to rotate in this direction. Like that, try it with something on your desk. Like if you've got a pencil or something, right? Put the pencil like down on your desk. Let me see, oh, I've got this, I can totally do this. I think I can totally do this. This should be cool actually. Um, let me come over to the other computer. There we go. Look, we got this. We totally got this. Um, if you have, can I do the overhead cam? Oh, the overhead cam's not set up. Let me see what the overhead cam is pointing at. Okay, the overhead cam is pointing at a Roomba, apparently. Let's just turn that one off. <laughs> or could I bring it around maybe? Let's see here. Here we go. That's good. Like if you put, that's completely sideways. If you put something on your desk, like that, I could actually do it with my phone, I guess, like this, here. A pencil, the pencil should be good, all right? And I exert a force directly on the center of mass, like say the center of mass of the pencil's here, and I exert the force on the center of mass, I should be able to hopefully push the pencil like that. You see how it kind of turns just because I'm bad at pushing? <laughs> this is a terrible demonstration. If I have, <laughs> instead, if I have the force exerted not on the center of mass of the pencil, but over here on the edge of the pencil, the pencil's gonna wanna rotate like that. You see that? The pencil doesn't wanna move like that. The pencil's going to want to rotate. I know that the mic's gonna pop. It's these silly Logitech cameras. Um, that is what's happening there. So when in KSP, over here, we exert the force not directly on the mass, but off to one side of the mass and we put in like a lever arm, um, that will allow us to rotate the rocket. And I can gimbal it that way and make the rocket rotate that way. Let's uh, pick the pin back up actually. And I could gimbal in the other direction. There's the center of mass. If I gimbal the rocket this way, or if I gimbal the engine this way, right? And I have the exhaust to go that way and the force is exerted this way, that's gonna exert a lever arm or it's gonna create a lever arm like that and the rocket's gonna wanna turn that way. So I can control the way that the rocket is pointing. I control the orientation of the rocket um, by that right there. Let me get this back out of my way so it's not in the camera. There we go. All right, good deal. Yeah, it was the camera, Chris. It was just the camera. That's why I just moved it out of the way. All right, so anyways, that is how the engine gimbal can help us control the rocket, right? What happens when you put a force on your pocket protector? I wouldn't know, I don't have a pocket protector. Let's erase all the...